It's not just about the big moments. Actually, it's not about the big moments at all. It's about the small moments that over time make a big difference. Hashtag the vulnerability challenge. I've experienced a lot of anxiety and pain in my life and I got to a point where I want to be able to express myself and open up and share. Colin Bender began sharing his story on Facebook and Instagram for 30 days. In these posts, he spoke authentically about his struggles and some of his proudest moments. The response he received was overwhelming. He knew there was something here, something more than just sharing his own story. I wanted people to experience the same thing I experienced, which I felt really liberated and I felt like myself and connected to to everyone after I kind of removed my mask and talked about my shame and pain. And I wanted other people to, people to be able to experience that as well. Colin launched the Vulnerability Challenge website, or TVC, to begin a social movement of encouraging people to express themselves more genuinely online. His intention is to make people feel more accepted for who they truly are. Social media, for example, can create a world where people are kind of feeling Disconnected, disconnected because they're comparing themselves to other people that have these perfect lives and they think that only me has these issues and everybody else has these perfect lives, but it's just not the truth. In a communication platform that can often feel very fake with the illusion that there's no such thing as rainy days, Colin has discovered it can also become a place to build wholehearted connections. When people like read these stories online, and it's, it's very easy to kind of like see yourself in these stories and resonate with a lot of them because we all have emotions, we all have you know, similar emotions and similar struggles, even if it's not exactly the same, we can typically relate and resonate with it. So it kind of brings this connection, of this feeling of, I'm not alone. But for us to not feel so alone, to reach out to one another, first, we must let our guard down, be vulnerable. It can create a lot of issues for people internally when they're not being authentic and don't have an outlet to express themselves. It's hard to be vulnerable. Um, and I can only speak from my own experience because a lot of the time there's a lot of shame and a lot of guilt for the way we feel. We make ourselves wrong for what we're going through. And also being vulnerable, I think, really means leaning into your feelings and feeling everything. A lot of people like to put on only their best sides, so their perfection. They're, they want to appear perfect and not weak. So being vulnerable, you're sharing stuff that you typically wouldn't share with everyone, maybe some of your pain and your struggle, which everybody has. So by doing that, you're actually being quite courageous and it's not weak. When it comes to sharing online, Colin recommends to not share publicly any open wounds, anything you haven't come to terms with yet. Save those conversations for in person with a trusted friend. Colin started TVC Tribes to create an avenue to have those in-person experiences. TVC Tribes currently has 10 members who meet weekly and have done so for the past year. I kind of had some anxiety right here in my stomach that I didn't know I had. And we open up in a circle and we share what's going on in our lives currently. And this could be more current stuff that we haven't had a chance to quite deal with. And we offer love and support and, and feedback to each other. And we, we always make sure to end with a big group hug, which is like the most favorite part of the of the tribe. There's something so genuine, authentic about getting in front of somebody and face to face and, and being with them in, in, a mom, in those moments and all those little moments that add up over time uh, build trust. Holland hopes to expand TVC tribes to offer support to other people in the community while continuing to grow the online movement. I would strongly encourage people to find their tribe, regardless of what that looks like. It's just to find that connectedness and get comfortable with people again, with human connection, get comfortable with it again.